Well, hello, ladies, gentlemen, and whoever or whatever you identify as, welcome to the Shed of Dread and welcome to another video. A video that has filled me with trepidation, to say the least. In fact, I've had a lot of thoughts, a lot of talking about doing this video. And the reason the trepidation is there is because of the subject matter. And, and to give you a rough idea of what I mean is this could potentially get a copyright strike against my channel. This could get me, well, no, even could, will probably get me quite the backlash. But the thing is, there are times when you have to stand up and stick your head against above the parapet wall, and I do this on frequent occasions and frequently get shot at. But you've got to do it. And the reason this needs to be done is because um, two months ago, I did a video on Doctor Who Redacted when it was about to come out. The little eye up there, you can click on there now, and that'll take you to that video if you want to watch it which also means that if this gets copyright struck, that probably will, and that means I'll be down to one strike, so I'll be right on tender, tender times, but it doesn't matter. Um, and Juno Dawson, who I'm about to talk about, is one of the, is the main sort of writer for this. Um, and this is what I said on that video about Juno. BBC announces a very gay, very trans Doctor Who spin-off by series written by Juno Dawson. Check out Juno Dawson on Twitter, trans person, extremely homophobic. But that's just my personal point of view. That was it. That's all I said. Because this one, this particular article I'm going to read now, is um, sort of backs up what I said. Now, a lot of people who I spoke to said, you know, well, in reality, it's, you, you know, it's Juno's, it's a tenuous link to Doctor Who. But it's linked to Doctor Who. And the reason that I find that I need to say, be this the hill that I have to die on, is the fact that because the left continually use the old, well, Doctor Who's a kids program, this is why I felt that this needed to be said. <sighs> right then, goggles on, let's get this one done. Now, before I go any further, to those people at YouTube, if you're watching this, what I'm going to do now is to read out an article from a magazine called Redux.info. I'm going to read it word for word. So I'm not embellishing anything upon this article. This is what the article that if you go on to um, Redux and find, you can read. So I'm not making stuff up. I'm just reading it. At the end of this video, because unlike most of my other videos, I'm not going to make comments as I go through. I'll make some comments about it at the end of the video. Because this needs to be read as is, to give people the information who either can't find it or, or, or can't you know, don't want to read it or whatever. And this has some bearing. Um, and will potentially tie into another video that's coming on uh, later on in the channel, probably in a couple more days. Um... But we'll see what that is. So, let's get this read. Right, so as I said, it's from Redux. And by the way, that's R-E-D-U-X-X dot info. Okay, so that's the website. This was written by Genevieve Gluck on July 9th, 2022. Uh, two days ago. UK women's charity promoting trans author who wrote paedophile sex guide for children now just with that opening title before i go any further you can see why i'm a little bit worried about this and i can also those people i spoke to i understand where they're coming from because yeah any case let's carry on a local chapter of a uk women's charity is under fire after promoting a book by trans author who wrote an explicit sex guide for children and who called being gay a consolation prize for men who weren't transgender. The Fawcett Society prompted outrage this week after promoting a book, The Gender Games, by transgender author Juno, born James, Dawson. The West Midlands branch of the Society, of course West Midlands being where I live, runs a monthly book club and announced July's selection in a social media post made on Thursday. The 
Eventbrite registration form associated with the book club meeting summarised the book's main themes and compares exclusionist feminists, a derisive term for women who believe sex cannot be changed, to alt-right young men. The announcement was met with widespread criticism and Fawcett West Midlands quickly locked its official Twitter account in response. Some feminists pointed out that the purpose of the charity was to advance women's causes, but they'd failed to find a female author to promote the writing of. There's going to be a little tweet popping up there. Uh, you can read it yourself while I carry on. Other Netzians were quick to point out a homophobic content Dawson made in the 2017 interview during uh, interview with Attitude magazine, a publication targeted at gay men. A lot of gay men are gay men as a consolation prize because they couldn't be women. I'm biting my tongue here, but in any case, said Dawson, in reference to his decision to identify as a transgender. References to the content were, comment were posted repeatedly underneath a book, the book club announcement, many demanding the society address it. And again, another tweet up there. You can read that as I carry on. Prior to self-identifying as a woman, Dawson had worked as a primary school teacher and identified as a gay man. In 2014, he published a book titled This Book is Gay which was a mar marketed as a guide for children aged 13 and up. The book, written in childish vernacular, intended to appeal to young readers, graphically taught children how to perform sex acts, as well as provided illustrations of those acts. A good handy is all about the wrist action. Rub the head of his uh, penis back and forth with your hand. Try different spreads and pressures until he responds positively, suggests Dawson in the book. The war also gives instruction on oral and anal sex, as with handies and breakfast eggs, all men like to have their blowies served in different ways. As reported in the 2015 by The Guardian, the presence of Dawson's book in the juvenile non-fiction section of the library in Wasala, Alaska, led parents to complain. After a 10 year old boy accessed the book, his mother, Vanessa Campbell, was shocked to discover it contained frank drawings and depictions of adult sex acts. Campbell took the matter up with the librarian, a KG Martin Albright, who decided the book was, uh, was appropriately shelved in response. Campbell lodged a formal complaint and a three member com committee was convened to look into the matter further. Approximately 50 people, many of them parents, turned up to the first Waseli City Council meeting to voice concerns. The following week, citizens attended a second meeting in droves, with one attendant comparing the provision of sexually explicit materials to children to be paedophile behaviour. Shortly after the paedophile controversy, Dawson declared a transgender identity and adopted the name Juno. He would later say of the situation, if anyone thinks teens aren't experimenting with drugs and looking at porn, they're kidding themselves. Right, I am going to take a break from not passing any comment with that. Um, in one respect, a small minority probably are, but the vast majority are not. Okay, I'm going to carry on. Dawson announced his transition in February 2016 interview with Glamour magazine after being hired as a columnist there, just three months after parents began complaining about his sex guide for children. Earlier this year, Dawson again prompted criticism for sexualising children in the novel he released titled Wonderland. Safe Schools Alliance UK detailed how, how a parent found the book stocked in their child's secondary school library and provided a summary of the sexuality, sexually explicit content contained in Wonderland. There's a picture of the book cover up there, okay. Which has a, its main character as a young boy who identifies as a girl named Alice. Male sex fantasy tropes are present throughout. The book opens, book opens inside St Agnes, an all-girls boarding school, where the girls presented are not only sexually active, but their bodies are described to be ridden with STIs, the, school safe, the Safe Schools Alliance wrote. The review continues to explain the ways the children are sexualised in Wonderland. Alice states, the fact I exist is enough. The fact that I'm young is a bonus. I'm a blow-up doll. 
added to this Alice boasts about his perky little boobs. While I'm delighted with my perky little boobs, Alice said I was profoundly disappointed that my urge to cut myself didn't vanish with the first milligram of ostrogen, uh, sorry, estrogen that passed my lips. Disturbingly, Alice, still a legal, legally still a child, is said to have an active, app-based sex life with married men from outlying commuter towns facilitated by hookup culture. Both Waterstones and Amazon UK have rated this book appropriate for children over 12. In Doris Delson's latest book, chosen by the Midlands chapter of the Fawcett Society Book Club, Doris describes how he first began to believe he was female because he enjoyed listening to Madonna and Spice Girls. So did I. Dawson generally preferred the media that centred on female characters, including Sex and the City, and confesses to a lingering male privilege, as he was never told I couldn't be exactly what I wanted to be, and I wanted to be Carrie. Okay. Despite professing to sympathies with a woman's perspective, Dawson devotes an entire chapter of the gender games to what he refers to as turf wars. Throughout, Dawson refers to the prominent women's rights campaign with unconcealed derision. Whether you prefer turf or transphobe or bigot, I don't really care, writes Dawson. The term turf is frequently used to harass and threaten women who question gender identity ideology. He goes on to compare the acknowledgement of biological sex to racism, specifically using black and Muslim women to make his case. If my critics had said, I don't feel safe around black women or I don't like getting on planes with women in hijabs, he would quite rightly accuse those people of being bigoted, he writes, perhaps bigotry needs to be silenced. Dawson also shrugged off women's fears of male sexual violence by suggesting that lesbians pose a greater threat to women than men. It's hard to bite my tongue on this one. <clears throat> but I'm going to carry on and not say anything yet. I don't see anyone suggesting cisgender lesbians should be banned from women's changing rooms and bathrooms. But if anyone was going to have a good old perv, wouldn't it be them? Dawson said. <clears throat> and when discussing his own childhood, Dawson defends the use of drugs commonly referred to as puberty blockers. Now, I'd have been able to get my hands on those pills and prevent my body from going through boyhood puberty Dawson laments. He scolds the reader, saying, No children are having sex changes, you morons. And the practice of halting puberty was first trialled at the Tavistock Clinic as far back as 1992. Since the publication of the Gender Games in 2017, dozens of health specialists have quit the Gender Identity Development Programme service at Tavistock Clinic out of ethical concerns. It feels like conversion therapy for gay children, one male clinic, cl clinician told The Times. Another whistleblower, who disclosed that she was having nightmares about what she was doing, warned children's bodies are being damaged in order to treat societal issues. I would talk about this as an atrocity. Another clinician described her, the, a, a case that haunted her, which involved a father she suspected of being a paedophile demanding puberty-blocking drugs in order to abuse his child. Knowing what I know now, the role models we have, there is no way I would have said I was gay. I would have gone straight trans, Dawson told the Herald in 2017. Dawson's credentials, including serving as a school role model for Stonewall and working with a charity First Story, which he runs writing and storytelling work workshops for un in underprivileged schools. Dawson is featured on the website of the UK charity of the Natural Trust and television rights for his recent book The Gender Games have been purchased by Sunny March and the production company founded by Benedict Cumberbatch. And that is the end of that particular article. Now there is a lot in there that I could or should really raise issues with but i'm not going to that much because i know the people will be expecting me and the truth of the matter is by me just reading those words from somebody else's um article and for me referring to what other people have said can get me into trouble with just that i will go with the um 
the bit where he goes to and compare acknowledgement of biological sex to racism using black and muslim women to make his case that is not the same thing at all that is racism but that's nothing to do with biological sex at all then they're, they're not comparable at all what he's trying to say is if people can say like if my critics had said i didn't feel safe around black women or i don't like getting planes on women with the jabs yes they would be called racists and bigots but that is not the same thing juno is quite clearly a um severely disturbed individual who as i said in the clip right at the beginning is extremely homophobic and to turn around and say to gay men that you're only gay because it's like a consolation prize for not becoming a female remembering that he was once a gay man who seemed to conveniently transition to a woman when the shit started to hit the fan indeed um it's terrible this is always what i call the hypocrisy of people like this the people on the left where they can call people derogatory terms and that's fine but if somebody calls the it the back that's not acceptable now remember that juno now has written um doctor who redacted which has not gone down really well um i don't think many people have listened to it to say he believed he was female because he just enjoyed listening to madonna and the spice girls is utter shit it doesn't really matter what music you listen to really i like madonna i like spice girls i like a bit of beyonce i like quite a lot of female singers but that doesn't mean that i am a woman there seems to be a lot of of a lot of him trying to deflect the the fact that he can say what he wants and treat people the way he wants to but if people fight back it's wrong and this is now somebody who is intrinsically linked to doctor who uh, which as i said at the beginning when you ever have a go about doctor who um well it's a children's show well this guy clearly feels or should i say this woman clearly feels that um children should be not only um taught but shown how to perform sex acts upon each other yes before anyone says i am fully aware that young children do do this but it's not the vast majority of people not the vast majority of children at all and to say that i'm only writing but because they're doing it also is very much akin to i'm only racially abusing this person because everybody else is doing so it's not an acceptable thing at all um for um wonderland being uh for children over the age of 12 thing is uh certifications have dropped lower and lower what would become in my day which was x-rated which is an 18 i think now qualifies as a 12a so and and although in one respect that's good in another respect it's showing you the lowering of our morals as as a society we are allowing more and more i mean my six-year-old daughter has just been released recently taught about um penises and vaginas um my um 10 year old son has now been told about male parts female parts and sex itself um because this is something that we need to apparently drill into children which i don't think it is but that's my particular point of view and i know a lot of other people think the same he won't talk about it because he's mortally embarrassed um to turn around and you know suggest that men aren't the biggest threat he says here dawson shrugged off women's fears and male sexual violence by suggesting that lesbians pose a greater threat to women than men whereas statistically um it's it, it's men um and to therefore deride lesbians as going into female changing rooms to pervert other women is very sad because in reality um it would be the same thing for gay men going to look and ogle at men in male changing rooms that's where the problem is because obviously transgenderism is the fact that you are 
the well biologically the opposite sex now if i walked into a female changing room i would be in trouble and i would expect to be in trouble and that's so you can't he can't you can't use that as as a as a way of getting around this it's The, the reason, another reason why this has been done is because the BBC are employing these people either without any knowledge of this or clearly because they don't care. Uh, and this is the problem. We're now pushing this agenda from a, let's be brutally honest, hand on heart, a very, very small minority uh, of, the, of, of the human race. They have somehow been elevated to godhood and have, everything is having that added because it's supposed to be about representation but if it was representation you still technically would barely see anyone yet they seem to be coming in every program known to man and i'll be covering that little bit actually about doctor who in another video so i've read the article that's what it is as i said you can go on to redux.info and you can read that entire article as i read it for yourself so it's in the public domain um we'll see how well this goes down on youtube um we'll see if it gets a copyright struck the only thing that's going in my favor is i am a small youtube channel so maybe that will go in favor so there you go that's what i think but hey what do i know i'm just a fat guy sitting in his shed and in fact dying in his shed of 31 degree temperatures here in the uk at the moment surrounded by his toys but you let me know what you think there's a comment section down below you know the rules as long as it's you know not nasty vile or disgusting it's there for everybody to use if you enjoyed this video just do what Dave the hand is doing right now that'd be much appreciated if you really did enjoy it you can click the subscribe button now on the screen it's that down there there's a little icon you can hover over that if you're watching this on YouTube it's in the middle it used to be to that side and now it's in the middle and they keep moving it click on that and that will let you be subscribed to my channel and next to that wherever it is um there's a bell hit the bell and that'll give you a notification that i've done another video but obviously that's unless youtube turn it off because they do do that quite a lot but there you go so with that and as always and until the next one ladies and gentlemen i'm going to love you and leave you thank you for your time